Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So before we begin, for those of you who are following online, I'd like to take a little bit of time to explain to you why people are, were applauding so, uh, so much. It's because after four weeks of fantastic weather over uh, while we were setting up the Le Bourget, we got a really big storm, and therefore we had to suspend the event and wait for the storm to pass over. Now. The storm is over. The car is called Rafale, which means a gust, as in a gust of wind. So, you know, so it's a, it's really a huge gust. So that's exactly what we had here. So in a way, that was the christening of the car. And so uh, since we had to wait together, it's almost like a TV set here. Let me start again. So it's a huge pleasure to welcome all of you here to Le Bourget, uh, the Temple of Aviation, for a very special Renault evening. Car shows are, of course, familiar playgrounds for us, but an air show now, this is definitely a first. And as you can see at Renault, we like to break new ground. And you will have concrete proof of that this evening with the world premiere of the new Renault Rafale. It is, so uh, the whole of the Renault team has turned out here uh, in full. So welcome to all of you, uh, all the people who have given us the pleasure of their company here, as well as the many people who are following us remotely. So as I was saying, the Renault team has turned out in full here at Le Bourget. First, I'd like to thank Jean-Dominique Senard, our chairman, for being with us this evening. But also we have Mr. Luca de Meo, who is receiving you, the CEO of the Renault Group. As well as Fabrice Comboli, the CEO of the Renault brand. Now, without any further ado, let's take off. Let's get down to it. Fabrice, the floor is yours. Thank you, Christian, and uh, welcome and hello to all of you. It is indeed a delight to welcome all of you here today to present the new Renault Rafale. Now, the Rafale is obviously the symbol of a brand that is spreading its wings because Renault is doing well. It's buoyed up by a very successful product plan. Arcana, Meganitech, Austral, Espas, our new models are taking off on all markets, taking Renault up already to the second position in Europe and making it a number one in France. So these new models are the embodiment of our electrification drive that is moving forward in leaps and bounds. On the one hand, we have our new electric cars, Megane, uh, which will soon be joined by Scenic, Renault 5 and Renault 4. And on the other side, we have our hybrid powertrains, which are proving an incredible success thanks to very low CO2 emissions and record ranges. But beyond this energy transition, Renault continues to keep the heart of innovation beating. And that's precisely the mission of Rafale, which is the brand's squadron leader. It's a winning comeback thanks to the expertise and passion of our teams who have placed Renault in the hearts of our customers. And now, who better than our CEO, Luca, to talk to you about our product, our passion for cars, and the Rafale. Luca, here you are. You're up now. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you. Uh, thank you, Fabrice, and hello to all of you here. It's such a pleasure to be here with all of you. I think you've all been uh, drinking some champagne. That's one of the advantages of being in France. So I think that the this press conference, press conference is going to be fun. So you know that this is a legendary place in the world of aviation. It may seem a little surprising, but actually Renault and aviation actually really do have a very long history, going back a long way together. And I don't think that that's something that happened just by chance, because aviation is about things that are very important to a car maker as well. It's about technology, it's about performance, it's about excellence. It also, it's also all about surpassing yourself, going beyond what you can do. And this is something that Renault had grasped a very, very long time ago. In fact, this is very much part of our roots, and the Rafale is a tip of our hat to Renault's love affair with aviation. 
Now, of course, when I say Rafal, all of you think immediately of our friends at Dasso. And I have to say that I'm delighted with that because Dasso is a really, really great company, a French and worldwide company. And it's a company with which we have lots of highly innovative projects together. And I'd like to thank them. First of all, Bernard Charles, but also Eric Trappier and Dasso Aviation in general for welcoming us here, but also because they've let us take back this name and reuse it again, uh, this glorious name. Rafal, in fact, is a name that Renault created a very, very long time ago in its glorious, almost mythical past, I would say. And then, with Dassault, this name become the absolute embodiment of uh, French technology that it is today. I don't know if any of you remember who Hélène, Helen Boucher was. Does that ring a bell? Helen Boucher? She was a great lady, a pioneering aviator. Well, the plane in which she became a legend was the Renault Codron Rafale in the 1930s. So all of this is a story that's very close to our hearts at Renault. And we wanted this story to just carry on. And this, this Rafale, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of that. Uh, thank you so much to all of you. Thank you, Luca, and welcome. And here you are. Here's the new Rafale. Now, uh, before I describe you, describe the new Renault Rafale to you, I'd like to take you back to 2020. We started off with a blank slate for the creation of this new Renault brand uh, flagship. It is based on the CMFCD platform, but it has a completely original silhouette and a design and a formal language that evolves into totally new codes. Well, first of all, the shape is that of an SUV coupe to which we have given the right fundamentals. First of all, its width, 1 meter, one meter 86. 
a long bonnet with a vertical front face, large wheels, and of course a fastback rear with a highly sculpted, finely honed rear end that conveys the efficiency of this new silhouette. The front end really does reveal a very strong personality, and we've paid great attention to every detail. Now, the daytime running lights, like on the new Clio, are inspired by the geometry of the logo, and they are a direct reference to the brand. The modules in the front in the headlights have also been designed in an ultra technological spirit, that with a color effect that you can that you can see depending on where you're sitting in the hall, giving the nouveau Rafale a very lively look. The radiator grille hides a blue background, which is revealed in a color shaded pattern, also inspired by the Renault Diamond. And you can see this beautifully when the car is on the move. So these few elements of the front end will create a magical effect on our streets. And it's with such ideas, this great attention to detail, that we've created a vehicle that stands out. So on the sides, we've sought to protect, project a dynamic and elegant spirit with very strong character lines. The overall dynamic of the silhouette is very eye-catching, and it's very it's balanced by two lines, a small crease on the rear pillar, and the sculpted lines at the bottom of the doors. And the result is a very well-balanced volume that closes in at the rear, a bit like the prestigious aircraft that surround us in this air show today. Now, thanks to its extended wheelbase of 2.74 meters, New Rafale offers remarkable interior roominess for an SUV coupe. On board, we have two major innovations, an ingenious rear armrest uh, and that offers connectivity charging facilities and a proper support for smartphones and tablets as you just as if you were in business class the second innovation is the transparent panoramic sunroof a solar bay and this really does add a magical quality to the interior with its highly graphic and very fluid animation in segments as it opens and closes and the interior also features the open R system which you've probably seen but it's been updated with a new enriched graphic theme and a new, rather uh, spectacular welcome sequence. In terms of ambience, the Esprit Alpine trim achieves a high level of sophistication with mineral decor, such as slate, very meticulous uh, tailoring, very three colors uh, overstitching, and the famous A for Alpine in the backrest of the front seats, which light up and come to life during the vehicle's exterior welcome sequence. And of course, we've used eco-responsible materials, like the upholstery, for example, that's made for 61% uh, recycled Alcantara. All these innovations are designed to make the car a pleasure to use, as well as all the de details I mentioned about the exterior, the creativity and the care that we've put into the experience our customers will enjoy every day. It is all of this that makes a difference, and this, I'm sure, is what will make the Nouveau Rafale such a success. I'm going to give the floor now to Mathieu Galipo, who is our product director for the C&D segments, and who's going to be talking to you about driving pleasure on board the new Renault Rafale. Thank you very much for your time. Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, Gilles. So you can see this is not just a feast for the eyes, this Rafale. It's also a huge pleasure to drive. So the new Rafale is built on the, uh, on the Alliance's CMFCD platform. It offers exceptional technological content in terms of running gear, powertrains, and electronic equipment. For its commercial launch, scheduled for Q2 2024, the Rafale will initially be fitted with the 200 BHP E-Tech full hybrid engine. This is the engine that was uh, launched on Austral, and it's already renowned for its record efficiency. On the Rafale, this 200 BHP engine will have a fuel consumption of just 4.7 liters per 100 kilometers. And that means you can have a range of 1,100 kilometers on just one tank full. Under the bonnet, however, we have another surprise in store. We are preparing a new version of the E-Tech hybrid engine. It's a version 
clearly dedicated to driving pleasure and high performance. First of all, the power, it's an e-tex, but it will be a 300 bhp engine. The addition of an extra electric motor on the rear axle will make Rafale into a four-wheel drive SUV coupe. Now I'd like to talk to you a little more about the chassis driving pleasure is enhanced by a multi-link rear suspension. This is coupled up with the latest evolution of the four control advanced four-wheel steer system. It makes the car as maneuverable as a city car at low speeds with a turning circle of a little over 10, 10 meters and it also gives the Rafale exceptional agility and dynamism at higher speeds. Another strong point of Rafale is its open R link connected multimedia system. Rafale adopts a new evolution of this system, although it's already the most intuitive and one of the most powerful on the market, with Google Automotive Services directly embedded into it. Its cockpit benefits from the very modern technology of the double screen open R system with its revamped graphics. Finally, I'd like to tell you about an innovation of which we are especially proud. It's a new technology of op opacifying technology for new sunroofs called Solar Bay. It's really spectacular. We developed this uh, technology with our partner Saint-Gobain. This is a new generation glass roof using AmpliSky technology based on a liquid crystal polymer film. It can be made opaque or transparent by just voice command, voice control via the Google Assistant interface, and the wow effect is guaranteed. In short, and actually, this is the kind of application that you can find on uh, av in aviation. And so, in short, it's quite clear that driving pleasure is the number one priority of our new SUV coupe, but it never comes at the expense of the passengers who are pampered in terms of space and equipment in the great tradition of Renault's lifestyle cars. Finally, if I have to sum up Renault Rafale in one word, it's excellence. It's all of Renault's technological excellence. I now give the floor back to Luca for the conclusion. Well, I'm really happy to be here for this car, uh, and I'm, I'm just thinking about the fact that I may have resigned in 25 years' time and I won't be here for Formula One. But we have now clearly put the Renault brand back in the game at the heart of the global car market. And uh, this was one of the objectives, uh, really, that we had. And it shows you clearly that during tough times, Renault teams can really, really hunker down, let the storm go by, and like we did today, and then come out with something fantastic. So I'm really proud of this uh, car. I'm sure it's going to be a success. We could have thought, you know, OK, we've done the job, and we could have called it a day there. But that's not really how we do things at Renault. For the last three Three years we've been fighting to re reconnect the Renault brand with its roots. With this pass, we have once again demonstrated our ability to remain faithful to our history while projecting it into the modern world of today. And also, we've proved our ability to sell cars on higher segments. Today, frankly, I think we are entering a new phase. We are reconnect, reconnecting Renault with its dreams. That's really the only thing that was missing up until now. And there's one dream that this brand has always cherished, which is to demonstrate that we can not only climb to new heights, but that we can actually, once we've got to the summit, we can actually do a lap around the track there. Reaching beyond oneself, going beyond oneself, is undoubtedly the best way to fulfill oneself. But this is just as true for brands and for automotive brands as well. And that's what we're doing today with the Rafale. We had made some attempts in the past, but it must be said that the brand has always had more or less, has always more or less failed. This time we are taking up the torch again, but with the weapons that we were lacking in the past. A positioning, for example, on a very buoyant segment, which is that of SUV coupes, and a powertrain that's completely in tune with our times, as you heard from Mathieu. In addition to our tech excellence, our design, and our passion, which is really important.
in the automotive sector. So this time, I really do believe that we've all got all the, all the cards in hand to help Renault take off and soar into the heights. And I can't end this without thanking the entire Renault team, Catherine's team, the engineering team, the design team, everyone. Congratulations, really, to all of you. But I would uh, really like to take advantage of this uh, opportunity to thank Arno Belloni and his teams, because Arno really fought hard to ensure that we could be here at Le Bourget today and that with the name Rafale, we can help Renault spread its wings and help our customers spread their wings as well. So I'd like to now wish you a great evening and a great air show for those of you who are here at Le Bourget. And of course, enjoy the flight, all of you. In the 1930s, an out-of-the-ordinary competition plane made us discover a new path, the Caudron Renault Rafale. We wanted to know how far we could go. We wanted to know how fast we could fly. We wanted to create a reference for future generations, a benchmark to remind us that no performance can be achieved without creativity. Benchmark that pilots Hélène Boucher, Adrienne Bolland, and Maris Bastier set, flying faster, higher, and further than the standards of their time. Today, this aerial inspiration leads us once again on a new path. Aiming higher inspires reinvention.